Hello, this is Keith with Watts Team Real Estate. I wanted to share a little bit about a product we offer right here on the website, which is a current market analysis or comparative market analysis. This is very close to an appraisal. It's not a real appraisal. In fact, it's a little easier to look at than a real appraisal. More pictures and uh, it's delivered in a format that's tailored for people that are thinking about selling their home and are interested in the value uh, that a buyer would be willing to offer them for it. So I, the report is very easy to read. I have a cover page. Uh, little personal letter notes to you, um, information about the subject property, and then we list each comparable property. Now, a quick note on how I choose the comparables. I choose them based on the um, uniform appraisal standards, which are 15%. Same size as yours, uh, within a 10-year or 5-year age range, depending on how new the home is. Uh, we try to do, if not in the same neighborhood, within a one-mile radius, and uh, nothing more than um, no nothing more than six months back in terms of sold properties. So up here, you see whether that property is active, or if the property is pending, right here, or if the property is sold, closed. And then what we try to do is compile all this data and we give you some bar graphs showing you the difference between the list prices and the sale prices so you can see what the neighborhood trends are doing. Here we have the average, this line right here for all the values in the neighborhood. And then we try to compile the data right here at the end in a manner that is real easy to read. Let me scroll out. Um, here we have our adjusted prices on all of these. I didn't make any adjustments. Um, we have our high price, our low price for the area, our average price, and our median price. And I chose this home as an example because um, it came out at 668 when we did the report and um, when we actually sold the home for 670. So this report was unbelievably accurate. And um, just a few months later, it was sold for 670. Now, I, what I tell people is when you are listing your home, um, really these reports are incredibly important to because this is the way buyers value your home is based upon the comparables and I usually like to start this whole report off with this pricing pyramid and just a quick note regarding pricing we chip we typically achieve the sale price of the home uh, within 1%, 1.9% 1 of the fair market value in the first four weeks. The longer a home stays on the market, we notice, the, the less we get close to that sale price. So it's not a good idea to overprice the home. And I list some reasons here why you absolutely do not want to overprice a home. The bottom line is we've noticed that homes after uh, 24 weeks generally get a little, little less than 9% of their original asking price. So it's better to price it to sell and price it quickly. And I do list the reasons why here. So if you would like one of these current market analysis or comparative market analysis, just jump on the website here, uh, fill out the information and we'll shoot one out to you. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to us. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.